Hello everybody, it's Big Papa Grump, and welcome back to our little village and pillage thing, and I'm going to show you what we've been up to since last time we were on. Uh, this. A lot of this is familiar, like the cats, but we've got a whole lot of librarians and a whole lot of farmers and a smattering of some other folks who hang out some of which hang out in here and we've been getting some decent trades we found mending we found unbreaking three we've got feather falling all that good stuff uh, there's an unbreaking three trade as well depth strider we got a few others oh, somebody just did something. And we're currently playing in peaceful because I want to show you what we've been working on. So first we'll come down here and it's a lot easier without monsters and being able to run without having to like eat constantly. So back in here, we have a slime chunk, which we have been using to get, obviously, slimes. Okay, and over here, Tushka has made this neat little thing here. I'm not going to steal her horse, though. I'm going to follow the torch path. Oof. Ah, here it is. What do we have here? We have a skeleton spawner. And apparently I hear lava. Uh -huh. do, do, do lots of coal. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so we have a Skelly Bob spawner here, which Petushka is going to turn into a grinder. And let's go back up here and show you what I've been working on. Oh yeah, I built this room and moved my portal. There's that. And I am building this which is the skeletal framework of, if you watched the last series, a familiar site. The Blaze Farm. So slowly but surely I'm getting through this. I'm getting resources. That's what I, we really wanted to find a slime chunk so that I could make sticky pistons and slime blocks because that's basically how this thing works. Got a whole bunch of uh, quartz and going to be making comparators and repeaters and I also need to make um, pressure plates and I need to measure out where the uh, it's going to we're going to be coming from this side this so the the killing area is going to be down here and then all of our stuff is going to be kind of coming from there so that's the that's a goal and plus i kind of death proofed our portals this is the portal to batushka's area and obviously that's the one to mine so can't not quite in range yet but that's good that's fine so probably from here build down to go underneath it a little bit and uh, yeah 
or at least be coming from coming from an underneath direction. So that is the plan. This blaze farm, you don't really need to clear out space because it just relies on the blazes spawn and movement rates kind of working against them. But I cleared out some space, or I'm working on clearing out space, you know, just because, you know, I want to pretty it up a little. So, and, you know, you could, if you wanted to, because we're probably going to put a roof on, a, on some of these areas. So you could conceivably AFK from a couple of spots around it. Not 100% sure how useful that would be, especially since we're going to be down in there. Now, the plan is going to build this and I'm going to build it very similar to but not exactly like the um, the one on New Grumpshire which I highly recommend you go back and watch my first early attempts at editing together Minecraft videos they're hilarious uh, if you haven't checked them out I recommend it it's mostly a rehash of what was already done but you know hey so, yeah, that's where we're at with this. We have the early stages of a skeleton grinder. That should be going up soon, and I'm going to need to utilize that to get bones because of what I'm going to make as far as my base goes. And then I'm working on this. We're uh, also looking at doing a trying our hand at an iron farm in the new 1.11 and then uh, not quite sure if we're going to do I believe the plan is also we're going to do a like a just a general mob grinder like one of the mob grinders in the sky or over the ocean or whatever not quite sure where we're going to build it but we're going to try it because they, for a while, those kind of farms slash grinders were broken. And apparently in the new update, they unbroked them because Batushka went on an, one of our older worlds and it started working. So we're like, yay. Because one of the things we did was we had kind of like the top half spawned a little bit of everything. So you got zombies and witches and spiders and all that good stuff. But the bottom half, we um, placed those things, fen not fence gates, uh, trap doors. We placed trap doors down and uh, used that to only spawn creepers because, you know, gunpowder, you need those for rockets. We like to fly, although we didn't fly nearly as much during the last world because everything was nether portal connected. So, yeah. I saw this design on a Skippy6 video. I don't know if it's his design. I have, I think it's a, it's a standard design. And I don't know who started it, but it's a Skippy modified version for, uh, for the Pocket Edition. And it is, what you start out with is an 11 by 11 glass box. So you put the roof three spaces above the blaze spawner with gl glass or I use glass you know it's your block of choice so when I refer to placing the glass here it's whatever block you decide to use if you don't feel like watching the blazes spawn that's fine but uh but anyways it's 11 by 11 box with two spaces above the spawner to block any blazes from getting stuck up there above the spawner and then the roof. So we're going to be filling this in with all the fun redstone action. And then we're going to be putting a, uh, a crusher to knock them down to one, like basically make them one hit kills. And that is a mumbo jumbo design. And yeah, if I can find links, I'll place them when I post this. I can definitely get a link to the Skippy video, but I don't know if I can find a link to the Mumbo video. 
So, but it's his. It's apparently one he is you know designed years ago, and it still works really well. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these out of here, out of my hot bar, and we are going to get, we're just going to put the glass in for now and see where that takes us. Okay, so it's about time I start working on my base. And for that, I'm going to need a lot of resources. And we need to get to the Mesa. Now, we know where the Mesa is. It's just a matter of digging out there. <laughs> 